Hello everyone and a very good evening to all of you and welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. So uh, I, I, I hope you are aware, uh, you can see the thumbnail and it says okay, this session is actually a session for uh, GK session for the upcoming TISNET and CMAT examination and uh, I hope you are aware that GK plays a very important role in TISNET and CMAT exam. So today we'll be discussing a very important current affairs. Uh, if you see the previous year question, if you analyze the previous year question of CMAT and TISNET, they have asked many questions from the recent ones like uh, November, December, January and all. So that is why uh, in these sessions I will be covering uh, current affairs of these months, okay? Because that would be the probability of questions being asked from here is very high. So let's uh, start uh, with uh, the question answer. I will be giving you questions, read the questions carefully and then answer it in the live chat. If you know it, fine. If you do not know it, then I'll be answering it. So the first question is, who among the following has been appointed as the chief scientist of WHO, that is World Health Organization? Your options are Christian Dolcek, uh, Sherilyn Tickel, Sheryl Tickel, Jeremy Farrar, Soumya Swaminathan. What is the right answer to this question? Is the right answer? I am waiting for your answers. So thank you because of your class I got 19 correct on that. Very good Shubham. Uh, I am very thankful. I am very happy also that uh, with the help of my teachings you have got a very good marks. Yes, I am elated. Yes, what is the right answer? So uh, the new chief economist actually is the option C Mr. Jeremy Farrar. Some people are answer answering option D. See, Swamya Swaminathan actually was the chief scientist and she will, uh, she, uh, she will leave the post very soon and she will be replaced with Jeremy Farrar. So C is the right answer to this question. Okay, instead of D, the right answer is C. Okay, so Jeremy Farrar has been appointed as the chief scientist of WHO and he has replaced Soumya Swaminathan. Okay, so just have an idea about it. Okay, now uh, there's a question for you. Uh, Soumya Swaminathan, who was the chief economist, she is a daughter of very famous personality. Okay. So after the class is over, uh, please write in the comment section that uh, she is a doubter of which famous personality and uh, he, that person is actually father of a very famous revolution in India, father of dash revolution in India. So this is the homework, go and find out, okay? Now, so you can say WHO appoints Jeremy Farrar as the chief scientist. This is a 13th December, very recent news, right? So just have an idea about it. And the director general of WHO is Mr. Ted Ross Adhanom and WHO is headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland. You should have basic idea about it. These are important ones. So let's move on further to uh, the next one. Uh, the next question actually is question number two, which says who among the following uh, has been selected as the 2022 WTA player of the year by Women's Tennis Association. So player of the year uh, in women's category tennis association so sh who has actually been given this award in 2022 last year barbora kreksikova katerina sinekova beatrice hadad maya iga swetek what is the right answer to this question kya sahi jawab guys yes everyone please press the like button guys sabko like button press karte jana what is the right answer the right answer is option d iga swetek is the right answer yes archit kumar is right uh, ayush sharma you all are right d is the right answer to this question she is from poland polish star iga swetek wins maiden maiden matlab first wta player of the year award okay so just have an idea about it okay yes so d is the right answer let's move on to the next one the question number three yes many people have answered d uh, the next is question number three in december 2022 which of the following countries has passed the world's first anti-smoking laws that can that ban the selling of tobacco to anyone born on and after 1st January 2009. So if you are born after 1st January 2009, you cannot consume uh, any smoking tobacco etc and all. So uh, any tobacco and all. So it's a very good thing actually. Uh, your options are Australia, France, Mexico, New Zealand. Which country has come up with this law? Yes, very good Manish Singh. Uh, that attitude, Shubham, you all are right. D is the right answer. New Zealand is the right answer to this question. So D is the right answer. Yes, Naman, Anmol, Goyal, Achit, you all are right. Now, the next one is question number four. Question number four says in December 2022, which of the following Argentina football player has announced 
रिटायरमेंट आफ्टर हिज रिटायरमेंट आफ्टर द कतर फीफा वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल ऑन दिसंबर एटीन योर ऑप्शन आर पॉलो देबाला जूलियन अलवरेज इमेलेना इमेलानो मार्टिनेस लाइनल मैसी वट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन क्या सही जवाब है एंड एवरी वन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस करते जाना गाइज एवरी वन यस प्रेस द लाइक बटन शेयर दिस वीडियो द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी लाइनल मैसी यस अलाउद्दीन हक शुभम न्यू वर्जन एटीट्यूड यू ऑल आर राइट यस so uh, yes i hope you are aware qatar fifa world cup uh, football world cup recently happened and the final winner was argentina and uh, actually the final match happened between argentina versus france and argentina won the battle the final match and these two are very important these three actually uh, these actually are important and from there i think questions were asked in zat as well top scorer kylian mbappe from france best player lionel messi best young player enzo fernandes बेस्ट गोलकीपर इमिलियानो मैटिनेस प्लीज रिमेंबर इट दीज आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ये तीनों जो अर्जेंटीना का फ्लैग है सो दीज आर अर्जेंटीना फ्लैग दिस इज फ्रॉम फ्रांस ओके सो दीज बिकम्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके हा नो नो फॉर्मल अनाउंसमेंट ओके ठीक है जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया सम पीपल वेर एक्चुअली इट वॉज इन द न्यूज लेट सी ठीक है लेकिन ये पता होना चाहिए अगर रिटायरमेंट का नहीं पता होना चाहिए बट दिस इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है From there, questions being asked is very very important. कि इससे क्वेश्चन आ सकता है, ठीक है? So read this one at least. If there is no formal announcement, at least read the, from this one. हाँ. Uh, the next is question number five. Uh, actually, इस टाइम पर न्यूज़ में आया था ना इसीलिए वो कवर हो गया. So no, uh, it, this is a December current affairs. So that is why it was covered. No problem. हाँ. Uh, the next is which of the following museums has been awarded highest award for excellence at UNESCO Asia Pacific Award for Cultural Heritage? Conservation 2022. Your options are Jahangir Art Gallery, Tara Purwala Aquarium, Chhatrapati Shivaji, Maharaj Vastu Sangrali, or Dr. Bhau Daji Lad Museum. What is the right answer to this question? Yes, the right answer is C. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrali. So C is the right answer to this question. Uh, UNESCO ka headquarter ka hai? Uh, the headquarter of UNESCO you will find it in Paris. ठीक है सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट इट सी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन यस यू कैन सी दिस इज द फोटो ऑफ इट है ना सो दिस इज द आउटसाइड फोटो दिस इज द इनसाइड फोटो एंड ऑल फ्रॉम टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया हां और एक और स्टेप वॉल्स ऑफ गोलकंडा इन हैदराबाद वन द अवार्ड फॉर डिस्टिंक्शन सो द राइट आंसर इज सी लेट्स मूव ऑन हां टू द नेक्स्ट वन हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग हां यूनेस्कोस हेडक्वार्टर इज इन पेरिस व्हिच इज द कैपिटल ऑफ फ्रांस यस गुड Uh, who among the following sports personality has been appointed as the national ambassador for TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan? So TB Mukt TB stands for tuberculosis. Mukt means elimination. So TB elimination Bharat Abhiyan. Your options are Neeraj Chopra, Mary Com, Sachin Tendulkar, Deepa Malik. What is the right answer to this question? Everyone, please press the like button, guys. Tab koi like button press karte jao. We are seeing very less likes. Many people are watching. Yes. सबको फटाफट लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो यस सो इंडिया टारगेट ऑफ एलिमिनेशन ऑफ ट्यूबर क्लोसिस इज बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव सो दिस इज द टारगेट वी शुड बी इलिमिनेटिंग इट द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दीपा मलिक यस अलाउद्दीन हक आयुष शर्मा यू आर राइट डी इज द राइट आंसर इंडिया फर्स्ट वोमेन पारालंपिक सो पारालंपिक प्लेयर इज द प्लेयर एक्चुअली पारालंपिक इज ओलंपिक इन विच पारा एथलीट्स और दो एथलीट्स विच आर फिजिकली डिजेबल्ड और हैंडी कैप एथलीट पार्टिसिपेट सो शी इज द फर्स्ट वोमेन पारा एथलीट मेडलिस्ट एंड प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ पारा एथलीट कमिटी ऑफ इंडिया ऑल्सो एंड शी हेज बीन अपॉइंट एस नेशनल एम्बेसडर फॉर दैट ओके यस एंड देर इज एन इनिशियटिव ऑल्सो निक्स मित्र टू फाइट टू एलिमिनेट ट्यूबर क्लोसिस ट्यूबर क्लोसिस इज अ डिजीज रिलेटेड विद लंग्स आई होप यू आर अवेयर ऑफ दैट ओके यस है ना वर्ल्ड टीबी डे इज ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ मार्च Sometimes these types of days are also asked in exam, so you must be aware of that. Okay, uh, the next one is Ministry of External Affairs has announced that India has invited. Yes, this is very, very, very important. Star market. The chances of being asked in TISNET and CMAT is very high. Very, very important. Foreign Ministry has announced that it ha- it will be inviting Abdul Fattah Al Sisi as the chief guest on Republic Day. He is the president of which country? Argentina, Turkey. Saudi Arabia, Egypt. What is the right answer? आपको ये बताना है कि foreign uh, external affairs ministry ने yes uh, the right answer yes 
अनाउंस किया है कि अब्दुल फत्ता अल सीसी द इजिप्शियन प्रेसिडेंट विल बी द चीफ गेस्ट ऑन दिस ईयर रिपब्लिक डे दैट इज ऑन 26 जनवरी 2023 इट इज वेरी हाईली लाइकलीहुड दैट देयर विल बी क्वेश्चन आइदर इन टेस्टनेट और सीमैक इसका क्वेश्चन प्रोबेबिलिटी बहुत ज्यादा है ठीक है वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई एम अगेन रिपीटिंग इट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है व्हाट इज द कैपिटल ऑफ इजिप्ट गाइस व्हाट इज द कैपिटल एंड व्हाई इजिप्ट इज फेमस इट इज फेमस फॉर अ वेरी फेमस एक्चुअली हिस्टोरिकल रीजन क्या हिस्टोरिकल रीजन है so the capital of egypt is cairo which is also written as kahira hai na in hindi urdu we arabic they use the word kahira also and it is famous for i guess you are aware of that pyramid yes yes manish singh bora right ha huh? so d is the right answer ha huh? yes alauddin haq yes mummy's pyramid right ha huh? famous for that ha huh? invited abdul fattah al sisi invited as chief guest so just have an idea uh, it's important so they can ask this question okay uh, the next one is on 1st december 2022 which of the following states observed 60th edition of statehood day meghalaya nagaland sikkim odisha what is the right answer to this question kya sahi jawab hai pehli december 2022 ko kon se rajya ne statehood day manaya yes egypt is famous for uh, pyramids river nile a lot of things right ha huh? so the right answer is nagaland b is the right answer to this question yes manish uh, naman यू आर राइट है ना सिक्सटी एथ स्टेट टूडे ऑन फर्स्ट दिसंबर ठीक है यस द चीफ मिनिस्टर इज मिस्टर नेफ्यू रियो ओके यस अलाउद्दीन हक तान्या शर्मा यूश यू आर राइट द नेक्स्ट वन इज विच आर द फॉलोइंग स्टेट यूनियन टेरिटरी हैज ऑर्गेनाइज द फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड ट्राइबल विंटर फेस्टिवल टू बूस्ट टूरिज्म एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट योर ऑप्शन आर लद्दाख जम्मू एंड कश्मीर बिहार असम वॉट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन Uh, आपको ये बताना है ट्राइबल विंटर फेस्टिवल किसने ऑर्गेनाइज किया लद्दाख जम्मू कश्मीर बिहार असम सी आई एम वेटिंग फॉर द आंसर्स यस द राइट आंसर एक्चुअली इज बी जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन सो बी इज द राइट आंसर आयुष शर्मा यू आर राइट है ना इन बांदीपुरा डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर सो बी इज द राइट आंसर यस जेनिफा यासमीन यू आर राइट द नेक्स्ट वन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन अ बुक टाइटल चिपको मूवमेंट अ पीपल्स हिस्ट्री Has won very important star mark this star market 2022 Kamala Devi Chattopadhyay NIF book prize who is the author of this book Sushmita Chatterjee Manisha Chaudhary Romila Saha Shekhar Pathak what is the right answer to this question the Chipko movement a people's history ne 2022 Kamala Devi Chattopadhyay and NIF book prize jeta hai iski author ka naam batana hai aapko sabko like button press karte jao everyone please press the like button yes. Uh, the right answer to this question is option D. Shekhar Pathak is the right answer to this question. Uh, I hope you are aware of Chipko movement. Uh, I am asking a questions. Question: uh, Who was actually uh, instrumental in bringing this concept in the recent history? I mean, Chipko movement was started uh, by whom? Actually, he died. Uh, I guess in second wave of COVID, he died uh, one or two years back. I mean, in April and all. So he was actually very famous and. who is that person can anyone tell me yes you can see it here this is chipko movement shekhar patak has written this book it has won kamla devi chatopadhyay nif book prize so please remember it it is important and the person who brought the concept of chipko movement was sundar lal bahuguna yes manish singh bor uh, manish singh bora right ha huh? sundar lal bahuguna he was from uttarakhand and he died i think around second wave in covid and also uh, just have an idea about it yes ha huh, manish singh yes devesh uh, that attitude you all are right ha huh, so the idea of chipko movement was go and actually uh, hug the tree so that the trees cannot be cut so it was a pro environment or environment protection breeze protection movement and all okay yes sundar lal bahuguna very good devesh that attitude sanjana gupta you all are right okay uh, the next one is as per the external affairs ministry india will assume the charge of chairmanship of vasinar arrangement for a year On first March, twenty twenty-three, thirty-first uh, January, first January, February, first February. So India will assume a charge for. I mean, India will be the president for one year in twenty twenty-three of Vasinar arrangement. From when? I mean, from which date? And uh, go and read what is Vasinar arrangement. Okay, since India will be the president, yes. So India will be the president from first January. Actually, India has. taken the charge this year from 1st february so c is the right answer yes alauddin haq that attitude ayush vicky you all are right so just have an idea about it theek okay. hai so go and read it it's a homework 
Now go and read in Wikipedia what is Vasinar arrangement and why it is important for India. Okay, uh, the next is question number 12. The next is who among the following has become the first female refugee in the competition 92 year history at men's uh, female referee sorry first female referee in men's FIFA World Cup. So actually uh, Qatar FIFA World Cup happened recently last year in December I hope everyone is aware of this. So there was a female referee in the male football team a male football match. So she is actually the first female referee what is her name and it is very very important. Whenever something first is there, it becomes important. Koi bhi is first hai jo tihas mein pahli baar hui, biranwe saal mein, etc. So this becomes actually very, very important. Her name is Stephanie Prapat. So yes, uh, Naman Ayush, Zenifaz, Naman uh, Ayush, Nisha, you all are right, huh? So just have an idea about it. Okay, yes. Uh, the next is question number 13. Question number 13 says, which of the following ministries has organized the pre-launch event of International Year of Millets 2023? Millet Smart Nutritive Food Conclave in New Delhi on December 5, 2022. Now, in 2023 has been declared by United Nations as the International Year of Millets. And why it is important for India? Because it was this resolution was passed on India's initiative. Okay. So India initiated this resolution that 2023 should be declared as International Year of Millets. Okay, and that is why it becomes important. And yes, in India grows good amount, a very good amount of millets. Uh, so uh, the millets conclave, millet smart nutritive food conclave, which happened last month, actually on 5 December was organized by Ministry of Commerce and Industry. So B is the right answer to this question. Not Agriculture Ministry. Okay. I know uh, some people would be saying that it should be Agriculture, but B is the right answer. To this question, uh, you can see from the Food and Agriculture Organization's website, International Year of Millet, Sage 2023. Uh, this is millet. Uh, I am unable to recall what is the Hindi word for that. I think Bajra kehte, ya Ragi ya Bajra kuch kehte. Please go and find out. Hana. So you can see from their uh, website. Okay. Uh, yes. So this is actually uh, the millet. Hana. Grown in India, Mali, Niger, Nigeria, and all. So this is like this, right? so this is actually, I don't know the Hindi word, go and find out. Right? Okay, uh, the next is question number 14. How many Indian institutions have been featured in 2022 Global Employability University Ranking Survey released by Times Higher Education? 5, 6, 7, 8. What is the right answer to this question? So if you like button, press the Everyone, please press the like button, guys. Share this video, subscribe to our channel. Everyone, please press the like button. We need at least 50 plus likes. Sabko, fada fat. Yes, what is the right answer? Uh, ha, Bajra kehte hai millet ko. Yes, Manish Singh. Ha. Uh, the right answer to this question is C. Uh, seven is the right answer to this question. So, seven Indi uh, Indian universities has been featured in this rank, uh, in this uh, list. IIT Delhi is uh, actually having 29th rank, the best rank from India's side. No, you can see it here. IIT Delhi from India's side has stopped. So, C is the right answer to this question. Yes, uh, Zarifa, Yasmin, you all are right. Uh, the next one is question number 15. What is the rank of India in 2022 Global Aviation Safety Ranking by International Civil Aviation Organization? 46, 48, 43rd, 45. What is the right answer to this question? What is the right answer to this question? Global Aviation Safety Ranking. Aviation means aeroplane. Anna, related with aeroplane. So, aeroplane safety ranking, mein, what is India's rank? How much safer is India's plane and all? Anna, uh, so, uh, according to International Civil Aviation Organization, the rank is 48. So, B is the right answer to this question. Okay. So, we have improved a lot. In 2018, we were 100 seconds. So, it means we have improved a lot. Good. So, B is the right answer. Yes. Uh, Zanifa, Yasmin, right. B is the right answer to this question. India jumps 48 place in ICO safety rankings. Anna. Singapore is at rank 1. You can see it here. Okay. So, just have an idea about it. Now, uh, let's move on to the next one. ICAO's headquarter, it is in Montreal, which is a city in Canada. Uh, the next one is question number 16, which says, to look into the issue of demand of a separate state for the member tribes of Eastern Nagaland People's Organization, the Ministry of Home Affairs has set up a special committee that is headed by whom? So, these are the four options. 
so uh, the separate state demand of eastern nagaland people so enpo is an organization which is demanding the separate state so for that a setup uh, committee has been set up under uh, mr ak mishra advisor of ministry of home affairs okay so d is the right answer to this question yes yes manish think sometimes these rankings they ask questions from there so the important rankings you should be aware of it okay the next is question number 17 who among the following has won gold medal uh, in the 10 meter air pistol national title at 65th national shooting championship happened in bhopal madhya pradesh sanskriti bana divya ts rhythm sangwan manu bhakar what is the right answer to this question kya sahi jawab hai Yes, uh, I'm waiting for the answers and everyone please press the like button as well. Sabko like button press karte jau. The right answer to this question is option B. Divya TS is the right answer. Yes. Uh, yes, Naman, you all are right. Uh, B is the right answer. Yes, Amit Bikram, you all are right. Zenifa, Yasmin, Pranjol, you all are right. The next is question number 18. Joe Root, who became the third cricketer in history to score 10,000 runs and pick up 50 wickets in test cricket is associated with which country? Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, England. Third cricketer to score 10,000 runs, right? So he is actually from England. I hope you are aware of him. So D is the right answer. Yes, Vicky, right? D is the right answer to this question. So just have an idea about it, Hannah. Becomes third player to score 10,000 runs. Okay, there's a homework. Go and find out who is the first player. And I think everyone can answer who is the first player to score 10,000 runs. And who is the second? At least know the first one. It's a homework. Ha, he's from England. Yes, Tanya, Laudin, Ayush, you all are right. Anna. Ha, so the first, uh, the first two are Jack Callis and Steve Waugh. Anna. So actually he has done two things. 10,000 runs plus 50 wickets. Both I'm saying. So he, in that category he has got third. I mean, so you need to be an all-rounder for that, right? So uh, uh, earlier Jack Callis uh, was an all-rounder all also and Steve Waugh from Australia. Okay. So they have scored 10,000 runs as well as 50 wickets as a baller. So it's difficult because you have to be all-rounder. You have to be a good batsman as well as a good baller. Right. Ha, Virat Kohli has not taken wickets. Right. So we are talking about actually both the things. 50 plus wickets and 10,000 runs. Both. Right? So it can be only done by an all-rounder. Uh, the next is all-rounder you understand? Both batsman and baller. Means a person, one person can uh, be both batsman as well as baller ah, good batsman good baller yes uh, uh x nerve music we will be coming up with the static session as well okay so do not bother mira stove harmas this way i don't know the pronunciation harma swedsky has passed away he was the first and only astronaut of which country iceland finland spain poland you understand of astronaut the one who goes inside the launch vehicle in space and all that's called as astronaut so the right answer is D. Uh, he was from actually Poland. So D is the right answer to this question. He passed away at the age of 81 last month in December. Okay. Yes, Abhishek Rana, you all are right. Uh, the next is in December 2022. Which of the following Indian airline has been awarded Safety Performer of the Year Award by GMR Delhi Airport Award 2022 for being the top performer among the self-handling airlines? Your options are Air Asia, Indigo, SpiceJet, Air India. Ye Air India is gone. Okay. So what is the right answer? This is option D, Air India. So what is the right answer, guys? Haan, isse pehle ke 19 ka D tha. Very good. Uh, se log ab rahe. Haan, hai. 20 ka bata answer. Uh, the right answer is C, Spice Jet. Hai. Safety performance of the year. Mein, uh, uh, Spice Jet actually has won this award. Hai. Self handling in lines. Uh, the next, yes, before moving on, guys, there's a small announcement. Uh, those who are attempting CMAT, uh, this is the best thing for them. Uh, All India Open Mark for CMAT 2023 will be having from 21st to 29th January. Real CMAT experience, mock test attempt by expert faculties, question-wise video solutions would be there. You can get to know your strength and weakness. So the link is given in the description. Click on that and actually register for this. And uh, one more thing is that those who are preparing for CAT this year, uh, we are providing a course 300 plus engaging videos, 135 plus live sessions, 75 plus mock tests, 10,000 plus practice questions would be there. Now, some people will be having financial issues. So for that, you can go for this uh, scholarship test. So on 21st January, 
at 7 pm we will be having a scholarship test and depending upon your performance we'll be providing a scholarship it can be given even up to 90 percent but you have to perform very well in this test so register for it the link is given in the description on our youtube channel go to them uh, i mean download the baiju's exam prep app as well from where you can register as well so go uh, uh, actually and register it as soon as possible and if you get a good rank then uh, you will have to pay a lesser fees for this course okay yes okay uh, the next is question number 21 who among the following indian tv anchors will be the part of four civilian mission to the moon dear moon crew a week long trip around the moon in a space rocket in 2023 vansh sayani purvesh pempal shameli raj dev joshi what is the right answer to this question kya sahi jawab hai and everyone please press the like button sabko like button press karte jana what is the right answer yes uh, the right answer is dev joshi yes uh, he will be the part of dear moon crew and and is the best known for his tv show bal veer so he was uh, those who are aware of these things i mean uh, the serial and cinema they, they are must have, they must be aware of that bal veer okay so he will be the first civilian mission to, uh, to the moon in uh, this is the person okay yes the right answer is d very good uh, many people have answered it and go and read about it Anna. the next is question number 22 uh, bjp leader mr bhupendra patel has actually administered the oath as the dash chief minister of gujarat dash which one 17th 18th 19th 16th uh, in uh, gandhinagar gujarat actually he was the chief minister the elections happened in gujarat and he again the bjp again won uh, the elections and that is why bhupendra patel would be the again chief minister so what is the right answer to this question uh, the right answer to this question actually is 18th chief minister so b is the right answer to this question Second consecutive term means he will again be the chief minister. Hana, I have told you. So B is the right answer. Yes. Pranjol, Zenifa, Amit Bikram, Meera, Murali, you all are right. So he is Mr. B. Uh, Bhupendra Patel. Okay. Uh, the next one is question number 23. In December 2022, PM Modi has inaugurated Mopa International Airport. In which of the following states? Uh, at a cost of, uh, it is built at a cost of 2,870 crores. Your options are Tamil Nadu, Goa, UP, Arunachal Pradesh. What is the right answer to this question? Moba International Airport. Where do we find? Everyone, please press the like button, guys. Share this video. Subscribe to our channel. Sub ko like button press karte jao. Fata fat. Everyone, yes. Okay, uh, the right answer is Goa. Actually, uh, yes, very good. Anmol, Amit, Ayush, Alauddin, Zenifa, Manish, you all are right. Anna. So now it has been actually renamed as uh, uh, Manohar uh, International Airport in the memory of the former Defense Minister of India and former Chief Minister of uh, Goa, uh, Mr. Manohar Parikar. So in his name, uh, the, uh, the international airport name is Manohar International Airport. Please remember it. Uh, Mr. Manohar Parikar was a Defense Minister also in India, of India, uh, I think five, six years back, I guess. Anna. And, uh, and he was former chief minister also of Goa. So you must be aware of him. Huh? B is the right answer. Yes. Uh, the next one is which of the following space startup of Japan has launched the world's first commercial moon lander Hakuto R on 11th December. Your options are Astroscale, iSpace, Synspective, Axel Space. What is the right answer to this question? I'm waiting for the answers. So uh, the right answer to this uh, question is uh, B is the right answer. I space is the right answer to this question. World's first commercial moon lander Hakuto R on 11th December. Uh, the mission was taken off from Florida, which is a place in USA. Okay, so the launch actually happened from USA. So B is the right answer. Yes, Ayush Sharma, uh, uh, Nishi, Ayush, you all are right. Hakuto R mission, I I space. Yes, this is iSpace. space. Go and read about it. I'm not explaining much. So, where is uh, actually, uh, here is India. Uh, this is USA. Okay, let me tell you. And you must have seen this is Florida state of USA. And from here, you will find uh, the place Cape Canaveral from where actually the satellites are launched you know, by NASA and also just have an idea about it. Here it is written, you know, Cape Canaveral, Florida. 
okay the next one is a uh, question number 25 and question number 25 says under the presidency of india that four day meeting of g20 development working group will be held in which of the following cities of india on 13th december your options are bangaluru kolkata udaipur mumbai what is the right answer to this question So I hope you are aware G20 India is going to be the president of G20 or I would say India has taken the charge of G20 pre uh, presidency and in this year India will be hosting G20 summit as well right. So uh, so G20 development working group meeting actually happened on 13th December last year under actually in Mumbai. So D is the right answer to this question. Yes D is the right answer. Yes Vicky, Zenifa you all are right Anna. Uh, the next one is on December 11 last year, NASA's Orion capsule has been, has returned to the earth from the moon after completing the journey of how many days? How many days? See, guys, please go and read about Artemis 1 mission. This is a mission of NASA and it is very, very important because it has been in the news. So something related with space like Artemis 1 mission, then Hubble, uh, then uh, James Webb telescope. These are very important. Huh? These are in the news. Especially this one is very much in the news. Artemis 1 mission. Go and read it. So NASA's Orion capsule is related with that. Actually, it traveled for 25 days. So B is the right answer to this question. Yes, Ayush, Saka, you all are right. So Orion capsule. You can see it here. Yes. So this is the Orion capsule. Inside it, humans will be going in future as well. So just have an idea about it. Okay, yes, go and read about it. Artemis 1 mission, ko, please go and read it. It's important. Uh, it was in the news. Uh, dekho, last year, August 2022, it was in the news. Hai na? Ab dekh rahe ho. So that is why I'm highlighting it. Uh, it's a homework. Read about it. Chances of question being asked from here is very high. Isi ke, under this mission, Orion capsule has been developed. So inside it, humans will be going in the space and all in moon, on moon actually, especially. It's a lunar mission, moon orbiting mission. Hai na? Means a lunar research mission and all. So just have an idea about it. It's important. Uh, the next one is the question. Name the Indian origin person appointed as the first vice president and chief operating officer of Federal Reserve Bank USA with effect from uh, March 2023. This is a very good and important news also. Whenever any Indian origin person becomes a, a very actually gets a very important position at international level in USA, America, England, or let's say at an international organization, let's say United Nations and all. It becomes very important. Okay, so uh, this is important because of that. Uh, Federal Reserve Bank is like uh, RBI in India, similar to that. Right? So the Central Bank of USA and all. So the right answer is B. Sushmita Shukla. B is the right answer to this question. Okay, so just have an idea about it. Right? Yes, Zenifa Ayush. Uh -huh. You all are right. Yes. Sushmita Shukla. Uh, the next one is in December. American furniture retailer Pottery Barn appointed as appointed which Indian female actor as brand ambassador to promote international expansion of the company. Okay, your options are Priyanka Chopra, Ashwarya Rai, Deepika Padukone, uh, Disha Patani. What is the right answer to this question? So Pottery Barn was an uh, American furniture uh, business actually tycoon. I mean. Uh, so has appointed Indian female actor. What is the name? Yes. So the right answer is C. Deepika uh, Padukone is the right answer to this question. Pottery Barn is a company. I mean, uh, and a furniture company and all. So C is the right answer. Yes. Ayush, you all are right. Shivangi Gupta, you all are right. Yes. This is Pottery Barn. Uh, I have taken the screenshot also. So this is their website as well. And um, these are that they provides the furniture, I mean, sofa and all. Okay. So luxurious sofa if you want to buy you can buy this after you become uh, uh, after you qualify the mba and all right ah. yes uh, the next is question number 29 in december according to the forbes magazine who among the following has replaced the tesla ceo elon musk to become world's richest person with a net worth of 186 billion dollar for a short period i mean for a very short period of time elon musk actually uh, came on the second spot and someone came on the first spot. So who is that guy? Warren Buffet, Gautam Adani, Bernard, Arnold and family, Bill Gates. What is the right answer? Actually, for a very short uh, period, actually Bernard, Arnold and family. Uh, I hope you are aware of him. Uh, he's famous for the 
एक्चुअली लेदर मेकिंग पर्स मेकिंग कंपनी लुई वटन एल वी आई होप यू आर अवेयर दैट है ना एल वी एम एच आई मीन द सेम थिंग है ना हिज बर्नाड आयरलैंड एंड पर्स इज वेरी फेमस है ना एल वी करके लुई वटन करके होता है यस सो द राइट आंसर इज सी इज द राइट आंसर यस एक्स नेवर अमत नहीं गौतम अदानी नेवर बिकेम आई थिंक फर्स्ट फर्स्ट रैंक नहीं आया उनका अभी तक आई थिंक एट मैक्स ही बिकेम सेकेंड एंड आई थिंक राइट नाउ ही इज थर्ड ठीक है so he has not reached the first rank okay so for a short period actually bernard or not became actually got c ha huh. uh, options uh, uh, so uh, louis vuitton is very famous for its purse uh, its purse is generally <laughs> very costly i think i have heard i am not sure but it's uh, sometimes more than 1 lakh and all so this purse and all uh, the next one is who among the following has been awarded the spirit of cinema award 2022 at the 27th edition of international film festival of kerala your options are reza sarkanian महसा अमीनी नीका शकरामी महनाज मोहम्मदी वट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन आई एम वेटिंग फॉर द आंसर गाइस एंड एवरी वन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट ये द राइट आंसर इज महनाज मोहम्मदी फ्रॉम ईरान एक्चुअली ओके यस यू कैन सी इट हेयर महनाज मोहम्मदी एज वन इट सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट शी वॉज शी इज एन ईरानियन है ना So just have an idea. Okay. Uh, the next is question number thirty-one, which says, "Who among the following has been appointed as the government of India and by government of India as the chair of B20 India?" See, uh, this year uh, a G20 summit is going to happen in India. So many things associated with G20 is happening. So B20 is a part. I mean, a, a, a part of G20 as well. I mean, B stands for Business 20. Means uh, actually. the business leaders of these 20 nations or 20 groupings actually people uh, will be coming together for uh, meetings and all that's called as b20 hai na so is the uh, chairman or head of that rajesh gopinathan n ganapati subramanyam fakir chand kohli n chandrashekharan yes the right answer is n chandrashekharan who is that person can anyone tell me yes tata's chairman yes manish uh, d uh, nisha manish singh you all are right Uh, he is the chairman of tata sons mr uh, n chandrashekharan so d is the right answer to this question theek okay. hai uh, the next one actually is yes go and read about g20 uh, these uh, 90 nations are there plus entire european union is a part of g20 and all they can ask questions from g20 because this year india is going to be the president so please there is a homework go and read about g20 from wikipedia who are the members actually the red ones you can see in the map are the members here is india is also the members and all Okay uh, the next is who among the following has been named as the 2022 person of the year award by time magazine time is a very famous magazine and that is why this becomes a very very important star market your options are narendra modi recep tayyip erdogan vladimir zelensky joe biden what is the right answer to this question kya sahi jawab hai this is very very important so uh, 2022 time person of the year award has been given to the president of ukraine and he is very much in the news so ukraine president uh, so c is the right answer to this question that is very very important kafi zyada important yes alauddin ayush and more shubham somit you are right you can see it here uh, this is time written here hai na t i m e iske upar given hai hai na so please remember it uh, just have an idea about it is important hai na yes Uh, the next one is yes it is also very 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 important star market actually what happened was in this country uh, the president was impeached president was impeached and because of which uh, the vice president was appointed as the president so dina bolorto she has become the first female president first female likhna chahiye na first female president of peru okay why because pedro castillo the president was actually impeached pedro castillo was impeached and in fact recently it was in news because protests were happening that even dina bolorto should resign new elections should happen and it was in the news this is very 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 important okay so peru the capital city of peru is lima and you will find this country in south america very very important guys star market star mark kar lijiye aap log isko ठीक है सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट इट लेट मी शो यू इन द मैप वेर एग्जैक्टली इट इज सो हेयर इज इंडिया दिस वन इज अगर आप जॉगे सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज साउथ अमेरिका कॉन्टिनेंट 
ठीक है इन साउथ अमेरिका कॉन्टिनेंट हेयर यू विल फाइंड दिस कंट्री आर यू सींग इट दिस इज पेरू एंड द कैपिटल ऑफ पेरू इज लीमा uh this topic is very important chances of questions being asked from here is very high so go and read something about the impeachment of pedro castillo you understand impeachment impeachment means the removal of president is called as impeachment impeachment samajhte ho na removal of a president of a country is called as impeachment ha okay uh, the next one is uh, who among the following has been appointed as the chairman and managing director of government owned petroleum refinery oil and natural gas commission for 3 years ongc is a very famous uh, actually psu right your options are sunil kumar rajneesh dubey navneet kumar sehgal arun kumar singh what is the right answer to this question the new constitution rejected chile mein hua hai shobham sharma that happened in chile theek hai Uh, what is the right answer to this question the question number 34 right answer is d mr arun kumar singh has been appointed as the chairman so d is the right answer to this question yes ayush kaka you are right d is the right answer okay uh, the next one is question number 35 which says how many indian women have been listed in the 2022 forbes annual list of world's 100 most powerful women your options are 4 5 6 7 So Forbes is a very famous international level magazine. In the world, hundred most powerful women, there are few Indian female as well. So how many Indian females are there? Four are, five are, six are, seven are. You have to tell me. What is the right answer to this question? Okay, guys, everyone, please press the like button. Guys, सबको like button press करते जाओ. Everyone, at least hundred plus likes ले जाओ. Everyone, share this video. This is a very important session for the test net and CMAT exam. Yes. द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन सी सिक्स इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है सो छे लोग हैं ठीक है सो किरण द बेस्ट रैंक इज ऑफ इंडिया फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारामन एट थर्टी सिक्स रैंक अदर फीमेल्स आर किरण मजूमदार शाह फाल्गुनी नैयर फ्रॉम नाइका फाउंड नाइका फैशन रोशनी नदल मल्होत्रा फ्रॉम एच सी एल कंपनी मधाबी पूरी बूच शी इज द फर्स्ट एक्चुअली फीमेल फर्स्ट फीमेल सेबी चीफ सिक्योरिटीज एंड एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया सो सेबी चीफ इज माधाबी पूरी बुच इ वॉज अपॉइंटेड लास्ट ईयर सोमा मंडल सेल स्टील अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया चीफ ठीक है सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट इट द राइट आंसर इज सी अंजलि गुप्ता दिस इज एक्चुअली हैपनिंग नाइन पी एम ऑन संडे ठीक है एंड देर इज वन मोर सेशन विच हैपन्स सिक्स पी एम ऑन संडे बट दिस हैपन्स एन एप एंड नाइन पी एम संडे हैपन्स ऑन यूट्यूब ठीक है ओके I will be coming up with more sessions when this net will be announced and all. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, you can see it here. So the rank one is Ursula von der Leyen. She is the European Union Chief. This is very very important. So overall, the rank one and world's hundred most powerful women list of Forbes magazine is Ursula von der Leyen. Uh, she is from Germany and she is the European Union President or Chief. So it's very very important. Okay. So A is the right answer here. Hmm. Uh, the next is question number thirty-six, which is in front of you. In December this year, ISRO has signed an agreement with which of the following organization for a space tech innovation program? That is a spin. Your options are Social Alpha, Symbosium Simulation, Vayu Yantra, Vasundhara, Geo. What is the right answer to this question? Ha, this net exam jab hoga, so uh, most likely one week before we'll be having some more sessions, ha na? Date announced, twenty-six February. Okay, thank you. So today is 15 January. So we are having around 40 days, है ना? लगभग. So uh, what is the right answer? Yes, uh, the right answer to this question is A. Social Alpha is the right answer. Yes, Somit Gupta, Nishi, Ayush, Kaka, you all are right, है ना? A is the right answer to this question. This will be India's first dedicated platform for innovation, curation, and venture development for burgeoning space entrepreneurial ecosystem. So if you want to have actually uh, Entrepreneur or startup in space sector, this will be helpful. Spin would be helpful for you. ठीक है? So go and read about it. Social Alpha के बारे में थोड़ा सा आप पढ़िए जाके. So this is 7th December news. ISRO Inc's MOU मतलब Memorandum of Understanding means you can say sort of agreement है ना? With Social Alpha to establish space tech innovation network. Okay? Yes. Uh, just go and read about it. Uh, the next is in December last year, ISRO has signed an MOU uh, with Which are the following private firm for human and cargo transportation? Human and cargo transportation capsule program. I have told you what is capsule. Uh, uh, like uh, Orion capsule, we have discussed just now. So, uh, 
इसरो हैज साइंड एन अग्रीमेंट विद विच कंपनी विच स्काई रूट एरोस्पेस ध्रुव स्पेस बेलेट्रिक्स एरोस्पेस व्यायाम स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन क्या सही जवाब है and everyone please press the like button guys sabko like button press karte jao yes it's very very important yes the right answer is d vayam space exploration is the right answer to this question dekho isko space capsule kehte hain inside it actually humans go theek hai insaan baith ke jaate and of course they are launched on inside the rocket as well i mean space launch vehicle ke andar hi bheja jata hai isko hai na okay yes you can see it here uh, the next one is question number 38 who among the following indian women has not been included in list of 100 most influential women according to bbc so we have discussed one related with forbes in which there are actually six females and the best rank is of nirmala sitaraman 36 rank and now uh, there is actually 100 most influential women list released by bbc bbc is a news broadcasting agency and all and uh, there are i think four indian females theek hai and uh, here nirmala sitaraman is not there i'm asking not theek hai so there are four female priyanka chopra uh, famous bollywood actress geetanjali shree she has written a book recently tom of sand for which she got international booker prize right international booker prize we have discussed many times this hai na last year hai na and shrisha banla she actually last year went to the space uh, right uh, she became the third indian origin female and all and sneha jawale a social worker so these four are actually in the bbc uh, female powerful list women uh, uh, powerful women list theek okay? hai so this is different from the uh, actually the list of forbes so d is the right answer here not pucha ja raha tha so d is the right answer uh, the next is sydney maclaurin levron She has actually uh, been named 2022 World Athletes of the Year at World Athletes Award for breaking world's women 400 meter hurdle uh, record twice. She is from which country? USA, Australia, New Zealand, Namibia. What is the right answer? क्या है सही जवाब? बताओ. And uh, सबको like button press करते जाना. Everyone, please press the like button. Share this video. And there is a subscribe button. नीचे subscribe button है. उस पर subscribe कर देना. ठीक है. हाँ रेत का मकबरा बड़ा ट्रांसलेटेड इन टॉम ऑफ सैंड यस मुस्कान सोनी आयु शर्मा राइट हाँ द राइट आंसर इज ए सो शी इज फ्रॉम यू एस ए ठीक है सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट इट एंड मोन्डो डू प्लांट इन मेल कैटेगरी एज वन दिस है ना एंड शी एज इन फीमेल कैटेगरी है ना ओके द नेक्स्ट वन एज योगेंद्र के अलग ही पास दे वे रिसेंटली वॉज एन एमिनेंट वॉट साइंटिस्ट इकोनॉमिस्ट मैथमेटिशियन आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट वट इज द राइट आंसर uh yes uh, in if you read if you are from economics background you must have heard about alag committee it is related with actually estimation of poverty line poverty estimate calculation and all so there is a committee called as alag committee so he is actually an economist he died uh, at the age of 83 he was a former union minister as well so b is the right answer hai na and uh, he even taught at iim calcutta and all Uh, the next is question forty one. How many Indian billionaires were listed in sixteenth edition of Forbes Asia Hero Philanthropy list? Nine, two, five, three. So, what is philanthropy? Philanthropy is charity, right? Charity giving and all. So, how many Indian billionaires were there in Forbes Asia Hero Philanthropy list? So, there are actually three Indians. So, D is the right answer. Gautam Adani, Shiv Nadar, and Ashok Sutha. So, these are the three people. So, just have an idea about it. is the right answer to this question ha huh. ana yes just have an idea about it yes uh, the next one is what word has been selected very very important by oxford university press to be the 2022 oxford word of the year sometimes these questions are being asked ana parma crisis goblin mode metaverse hashtag i stand with कौन सा वर्ड को 2022 ऑक्सफोर्ड डिक्शनरी और ये ऑक्सफोर्ड ऑफ द ईयर चूज किया गया व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन सो द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज बी गोब्लिन मोड इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन यस सोमित गुप्ता यू आर राइट बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन है ना है ना Uh, it refers to a type of behavior which is an unapologetically self-indulgent, lazy, slovenless, greedy, typically in a way that rejects social norms. हो सकता है ये इंग्लिश के सेक्शन में पूछ दे, maybe they can ask. So just have an idea about it. Goblin mode, what is that? So B is the right answer. Yes, Neeshi Sinha, Muskan, Alauddin, Shobham, Priya, you all are right. है ना? So थोड़ा सा आप इसको पढ़िए क्या जा करके कि what is the meaning of goblin mode, right? 
इट इज डिस्क्राइब एज अ वे ऑफ लाइफ दैट गिव्स पीपल परमिशन टू डिस सोशल सोसाइटल नॉर्म्स एम एम्बरेस देयर बेसिक इंस्टिंक्ट इन समाज को छोड़ करके अपना जो उसका ख्वाहिश है या इंस्टिंक्ट है वो अपना शौक पूरा करें ऑल सो दैट इज नॉट द आइडिया इज गो एंड रीड अबाउट इट गोबलिन मोड एंड ऑल इट्स गुप्त ओके सॉरी सोमित गुप्त आई एम वेरी सॉरी फॉर द रॉन्ग प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ योर नेम द नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी थ्री After commissioning a 450 megawatt uh, wind solar hybrid power plant in Jaisalmer, which of the following renewable energy company has become largest operational hybrid power uh, generation plant with a capacity of 1440 megawatt? NDPC, JSW, Adani Green Energy. Yeah, ye, option D, Torrent Power. Hai. ठीक है. नीचे चला गया. कोई बात नहीं. So what is the right answer to this question? So the right answer to this question is. Uh, C is the right answer. Adani Green Energy is the right answer to this question. Okay, so just have an idea. Yes, Shobham, you all are right. C is the right answer. Okay, yes. So, study it a little. So, this is all about today's class. Please subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram, and download the Byju's Exam Prep app. Thank you, everyone. Everyone, please press the like button, share this video. Ah, yad rakhega on Sunday at 6 p.m. Generally, I come on app with GK and Current Affairs, and at 9 p.m. I come on YouTube. So, this is generally the plan. uh before the test net uh, maybe we'll be having uh, means one week before and all we'll be having some more sessions with you okay so thank you everyone uh, thanks for watching have a nice day